Planet Zoo, Planet Zoo. It's time to play Planet Zoo. Hey, welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is Martini4. We're back here at Talbot National Zoo. And I started working on the rhino habitat here for the black rhinos. Um, I was extremely excited that the game was actually working for me. Um, I only got one error message. Um which was actually this morning as I was finishing up the, the viewing area. Um, yeah, uh, pretty cool. I'm hoping they're getting everything fixed now that the holidays are over. Um, so here we're uh, building the, the rhino um, shelter and staff backstage area. Uh, as you saw, I had three doorways there. And on this one, I wanted to try to do some roll-up garage doors. Um, so that's what you see me building right here. Uh, it took me a little while to wrap my head around how to get it to work. But uh, I believe I, I did what I was planning to do. Um, the only issue is, uh, the default doorways there are not large enough for the rhinos to fit through. So my idea of having three garage doors, uh, kind of turns into just one large garage door, but, um, that's okay. Not a big deal. See, I just put in some supports. Um, I decided to make this section just a little bit taller. Uh, putting in the rails that the doors would would run on. Just add a little bit of detail. Uh, some of them uh, do end up getting deleted because I had to delete the, the center posts on the doorways there. And you'll see what I'm talking about because I yeah, right there, those two in the middle end up getting deleted. Um, otherwise, it just looks funny. If I just leave them there, it's enough room for the rhinos to fit through, but it just looks weird. Um, so, yeah, I moved the whole building over. Um, I was just kind of building it out of the way and then moved it over to its final home put down the concrete flooring. I did the whole thing in the concrete this time. Um, I feel like it would be a lot easier to clean up. Reusing the doors that uh, I made for the um, hippo barn. And just did the, the same kind of thing. Um, just do with the roll, uh, the rolling door, you know, roll it off to the side. Uh, barn door type of thing putting wheels on the track and then this here I kind of uh, did something a little bit different just kind of made a little uh, support that would attach the door to the wheels just kind of made a, a little more interesting and then putting a large keeper hut in here um, I think I'm going to have this, uh, kind of join up with some of the other habitats that are coming up. So I thought I'd put in a larger keeper hut since more keepers will be using it. Which then I had to move the, the gate and then I just made these some default, um, chain link fence in here. Uh, not that the rhinos would get past the main door, but, you know, just that little added security. Alright, let's 
finishing off the building uh, just kind of keeping in with the theme that I had for the hippopotamus and the African dogs since it's all in the same general location so nothing too fancy this does have a couple of, of layers just to kind of break up the monotony of a flat roof and then of course the, the air conditioning units and the ducting and then just labeling the building itself putting in a door and then I figured this side needed a couple of windows as well and I was trying to put a, a break room in there but I didn't leave quite enough room for it so I put it on the outside which just kind of added a little more to the building itself now we're working on the habitat um, I don't know if the rhinos really go into the water I tried to make some of it a little bit shallow just in case they do um, but yeah a lot of the the rock work I put in uh, I know that they wouldn't walk off of it And then instead of doing the uh, rock barrier, um, I use these rock walls, which I believe were made by Cesar. Cesar. Um, yeah, lots of different um, heights and styles and stuff, so I use those guys. I did have a little problem with running out of money, so I had to let the game run for a little bit. Uh, I tend to build on pause so my money doesn't replenish very much and then just reusing the the concrete barriers that I made for the hippo habitat since these so are so close together I feel like they would just uh, reuse that design over here and throwing in some bedding for them to sleep on Here's our first look at the black rhinos and that's where I realized that there's not enough space for the door. If I leave it like that there's enough. Uh, I tried just moving the smaller concrete um, trim blocks over but just a little too narrow so um, I do go back and delete all those I just didn't film it. Now just getting the terrain kind of set up uh, just a little bit before I start uh, really decorating the place. I was not exactly sure what I wanted to to do. I know they just need a lot of open area, but I didn't want to just leave it. Um, with nothing so of course I put in the the mud pits here tried to do the terrain trick again um, it was too close to the water on that side so I used the rocks to kind of cover up the border and then I put a little outcrop in here just to kind of give it a little more dimension and depth to the habitat just so it's not a flat wall in the back using these cladding pieces on the on their end just to kind of change up a little bit as far as the textures go on that wall and putting down the little detail rocks everywhere
I do try to bring some out a little bit farther. Um, my thought was that maybe the rhinos walk across them and kind of break up some of the larger rocks because of their weight. So there's a bunch of rubble around the edges and stuff like that. And then I like to go back through with the brush and kind of uh, lay down the sand and stuff because that's what it would kind of turn into is kind of sand and dust. I put a couple of little uh, bedding things underneath the trees so they could sleep outside if they wanted to. And then putting in the drain grass. I used the dry and the green um, together again just to kind of add a little more color. The dry grass is a little bit uh, too much of a bright yellow for the jungle biome here that I'm in. But yeah, putting in the green kind of kind of mellows it out a little bit until you zoom away like that <laughs> and then it's really bright yellow uh, putting in some elephant grass just to kind of fill in a little bit and these bushes I gotta try to remember which ones these are I know I use the hawthorn and the uh, some other ones all the time I, I can't remember their name sorry and again just reusing these barriers here for the guest viewing And connecting them with the just a little rock work there. And then just in case they do uh, swim across, I put some rocks that they couldn't climb up um, just to keep them away from the guests. And then, yeah, move the paths around just so it didn't clog anything up with people walking through. Add some nettles here just to fill out that little blank space and kind of wrap them around on the other side of the wall here. And I didn't have any, I only had the Indian rhino sculpture or statue. So I used this sculpture here, which turned out to be pretty, it fit pretty good. Um, it's kind of strange looking, but I kind of like it there. So I made a little seating area, just like a little rest area for people. Um, I haven't really made a whole lot of that. Just I kind of put benches around on the walkways. So I thought I'd do that here instead of putting in like a drink stand or something like I usually do. And just kind of decorating it up a little bit. I like these trees, they're nice looking. And then filling in with the bushes there. And taking my bam. Well, first I uh, do the lighting. Bring my lamps over and now the bamboo uh, walkway trim. I had to get some shorter pieces for the tighter curves. And I only run it across the uh, the stone pathway. And I only put in one sign this time since there's not uh, a large viewing area. I usually try to put in at least two, but I do two speakers, one on each side of it, and then just one of the information boards. here I didn't want that big glass wall standing up there so I uh, just kind of do a little a little rock work so I can do my little uh, rapids trick to kind of block or disguise the uh, the barrier there I try to make it look like there's a reason for the rapids
So yeah, um, yeah, like I said, the uh, server only went down once, so hopefully they're almost getting that all worked out. There's our black rhino going to take a little drink off the rock, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, this habitat really came together really nicely. It fit in here perfectly. Um, I believe the next one I'm going to do um, is either going to be the Red River Hog or the Cheetah. I want to get those two guys in here and then we will be done with our Africa section. And then we can move on, move on to Asia and then we'll be done with this, uh, the river walk and we can start working on other parts of the zoo again. Uh, yeah, uh, I hope everyone's, uh, doing good, enjoyed the video, um, a little bit of a quicker cut, uh, I'm starting to cut out a lot of the slow, boring stuff, so, um, yeah, let me know what you think, uh, drop me a comment, just say hi, or whatever, you know, so, I will let you finish out the cinematics here and uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button share me on the Facebook groups or whatever uh, tell your friends have them subscribe that'd be awesome I will see you guys on the next one thanks bye